Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. We are here today to continue working on the Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, Volume 4, Treasure Hunt. What I am doing is creating a treasure hunt of stitches. My treasures are my linens, so I am going to be practicing various stitches out of of embroidery and my stitch bible i call it my stitch bible creative stitches for contemporary embroidery and it's by sharon bogan so we have started some stitches already we've done the back stitch on here we've done the back stitch and we've done the back stitch here so I'm going to show you how to do a threaded back stitch in this video. So I'm just going to be working on a piece of Battenberg. So let's just find Battenberg like this. Let's use this piece. And I'm just, let's take this one piece out and I am going to Put this away. I'm outside at my son's house trying to work around the sun. Today it's quite sunny. So this is Battenberg. Battenberg has a right and a wrong side. Battenberg is made up of cotton. Oh, I had this problem last time here. Okay, we're going to be doing the the back stitch, the threaded back stitch, and the threaded back stitch is using oh shoot I'm around I'm using see I always pull it too far down I have to stick this up here I'm using the two colors of embroidery I said a wrong thing I'm using the two colors of pearl cotton that Lisa sent me this is a size eight that's the the normal standard size that you get usually that's what it's usually made into you can get other thicknesses as well thicker with it being a smaller number a five or a three and a thinner number a 10 a 12. so we are i have to use this scissors for place okay right here and let's go there and there wow that's kind of a small area Okay, so we are going to be working on in the center of the Battenberg. The Battenberg, I'm going to call it, has a, well, I'm going to name this the perforated center. So, because it is a thinner thread. So, I, I always use a Milner's needle because I like the length of it and I like the length of the eye. I can thread it easily. So, I've threaded an arm's length of the turquoise color and I am going to just do well I guess to show that it's the I'm doing the threaded back stitch okay back let's just do a back stitch and then I'm going to be doing a thre uh, a threaded back stitch so the threaded back stitch Back stitch. if I'm going up this line, I'm going to start at the top of my back stitch. And because it's my knot, I'm going to go slightly off center because I want it to be caught in the cotton, not in, it'll come right through that big perforated hole. So I'm going to take larger bites and larger... So I want my stitch length to be about, about this long. How long is this long? It's not quite a quarter of an inch. And that's, of course, I'm sitting right beside the air conditioning unit. And let's go down. And you'll hear that. And then there's a plane overhead. There are more. That's better than having Lulu bark. So 
back stitch just in and out, in and out. And I'm trying to keep them the same stitch length. And that's the hardest part for me. So we are doing the threaded back stitch with this. I'm just going to go to the tip to do threaded back stitch with this. Off camera, I'm just going to do a strip, just a back stitch. And now, because you know how to do the back stitch, because we've done it already, I don't have to waste your time. This is for a threaded back stitch. I'm going to be practicing all these stitches and showcasing them in this treasure hunt of stitchery. And I will follow the girls' prompts when they give them to us. I believe it's every two weeks or twice a month. I forget. But in the meantime, because I finished my first prompt, I am going to continue with these stitches. Because mine is going to be the treasure hunt of stitches. And I will be doing a video hopefully once a day. The only time I won't be posting one every day is when I have my grandsons on the weekend. Because they are, they are typical wild hooligans. <laughs> and grandma loves them dearly. They are active boys. The, my other two grandsons are more quiet or bookworms or outdoorsy. These guys are just crazy wild. <laughs> This size of pearl cotton is nice to work with. Thank you, Lisa, for giving me these beautiful colors. The turquoise and green looks so nice together. Okay, we're in a hard part. So when I say hard part, lots and lots of layers. So let's go down and let's take one more stitch. Oh, that was hard because it's a thick, dense cotton ribbon and there's probably Good four layers there so that's it for that one I'm gonna do one stitch to anchor it out of the way because off camera I am going to do this other side because I'm going to show various stitches using the back stitch and there's various um, various okay I have to put this through uh, I'm alter not alterations various forms variations is the word maybe of the back stitch so off camera I will be doing this line all the way down here with just a back stitch and it'll look just like that let's do three stitches one two three and I will finish that I'm gonna leave that thread to the front and it'll be all threaded I am said a wrong thing it'll be just back stitch there so let's remove my thread. I'm going to keep my thread in my Battenberg because I'll continue that off camera. So I want to take this thread. Beautiful. It's not lime green, but it's... Oh, I was going to say, where are my scissors? Okay, let's move that so I know where to place the scissors. Another arm's length. And... Okay. Put this over here. That's just the edge of the camera. Let's knot this up at the back and feed this through here. Okay, and off we go. So to, to do the threaded back stitch, we are going to come I'm going to come up just to the right of that stitch, and that's just a matter of preference. So that's what I'm going to do. And there we go. 
needle. So the threaded back stitch, it just goes, and I'll use the eye of my needle because I don't want to pierce my fabric. So I'm going to go from right to left And then in the next back stitch, I'm going to go left to right. In the next back stitch, you're just alternating back and forth, back and forth. Left. Right. And you can make this look different by having this thread the second loop thread wider or, or looser, I mean looser, as you go. So let me go back and forth and back and forth till we're at the tip. It's easier to film when it's overcast. It's nice and warm out though. It's supposed to be 25, that's really nice. Okay, so you look at how much I'm pulling it, so let's pull it out. You can adjust your thread like that. You see how nice that looks? And these picked two colors that look nice together. I love green and blue, green and turquoise together. And left and right, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And look, I pulled that too much. And I'm holding, I'm squeezing it with a finger and a thumb. And I can adjust it when I'm done. Let's turn it this way. And again, just back and forth. God only knows what that noise is. We'll adjust our stitches as we go. It's probably a shop back. Someone's cleaning their car or their garage. And so this is the last stitch that I'm going to do. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Thank you, Lisa. These are colors. It's from the company called Wonderfill. They have a website, wonderfill.com. I order from them. And it's easy two, one, two, three for the turquoise. And this is this look is a DMC, but I know Wonderfill makes a color similar to this. This is DMC size eight. Size eight is the thickness of the thread and it looks like this color here in DMC is 907. Look at this. Okay, I think that's gorgeous. So to anchor, oh, let's have a look at, let's lay it flat. And am I satisfied with, oh, thank goodness the air conditioner turned off. And of course, oh gosh, I'm just gonna leave it like this. So when that thread may or may not move because it's not anchored, it's just resting in and out. And I'm going to go down in the tip because I can. Okay, there we are. So that is the threaded back stitch. Have fun experimenting with your stitches, everyone. I hope you join me in this journey. Bye for now.